So, uh, yeah, I'm making an album about the end of the world. It's like, anytime we get a glimpse of, of truth, and, you know, we get presented with the red pill or the blue pill, we take the fucking blue pill every time. Like, nah, I'm good, I don't, I don't want to acknowledge what's really going on, just give me that blue pill and let me just, uh, you know. I really feel like I'm in a fucking matrix sometimes and every once in a while I see the code, you know? And and I know I sound like a crazy person, but it, it just really hit me over the past couple of weeks. And I feel like I didn't know what to do except to write. You guys ready for this? I don't think you're ready. I'll show you where the magic happens. Um, yeah, there's no magic. But it's fun. It's my little fortress of solitude. Drum roll. This is my little home studio. I got some cool stuff here. I got a little Akai MPK mixer that I hook directly up to the Mac. Preamp for my mic. I mean, that's really all you need, right? And then you need just some ideas. Sometimes if I feel like I'm not working hard enough, Invader's pointing at me like, you, you piece of shit. Look at her. If she could talk, she'd be like, yeah, man, I've seen some shit. Uh, my tailor, I've got to restring it. I just broke that string. Telecaster Deluxe. I do have a permit for these. This is just a whole fucking mood right here. I'm marrying her. Be jealous. I don't know. I think being surrounded by the things that make me happy uh, help keep me inspired and wanting to work and just feeling good. Isn't that the whole mantra for any workspace? You wanna, you wanna stay creative, you wanna stay inspired, so surround yourself by the things that, that you love. My girls give me inspiration, they're also, they give me little critiques while I'm recording. They're like, oh, that doesn't sound good, or oh yeah, I love that. You come to visit? You come to check on me while I'm working? Huh? Okay, goodbye. Remember why you started. And I just like to look at that because, I don't know, I think it's very easy for us to lose track of, uh, you know, why we do anything. Why do we do anything? So, I want to remind myself, you know, keep focused, keep working, make it happen. Thank you guys. Stay safe. Look at this view. Huh? You should see the other side, you can see the whole Manhattan skyline. There she is, it's New York City. Every time I try to get out, she keeps pulling me back in. Making my way. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm working on a rap rock opera musical about the apocalypse. Yes, I have lost my damn mind. Yes, I'm fine. Thanks for asking. I think I'm fine. I don't know. Is anybody fine? Crazy. In my head, I've always wanted to make a project that was, you know, one central theme, almost like a play, and each song in the album was a different chapter or, or scene in the play. I never had, like, what I felt like I wanted that centralized theme to be, that it would make sense. Uh, and with all the shit that's been going on in the world lately, it feels like we're on this, like, downward tra trajectory to, like, rock bottom as a civilization. And I, I just thought... Well, what if I took that and and made it from like start to finish, like the beginning of the situation? It's this is an emergency, you know, gather your loved ones and stay safe. And then down, like it keeps going. Things get worse, 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 worse. And then we have to <clears throat> find our way back out. This is how I'm kind of processing things. Do we want the trick garage? Something like that. But why is it not making sense in my head? I didn't mean to yell. That's it. I always try to find the good in people and situations and focus on those things. When I can't do that, I go to a dark place. 
that's been happening for me lately. What I'm trying to do with this album is just like play that out. Okay, here we are. We're going to a dark place as a society. And what does rock bottom look like, right? And then how do we come back from that together? You know, how do we, where is the hope? And that's what I, I don't have that song written yet. Right now I'm in the shit. It's the bad shit. That's what I'm writing now. And I'm hoping that in writing about that, I find my way to, and this is how we get out of it. This is where hope is. This is the beauty uh, of the other side and how we get there. It's a process, man. I'm lost. God damn it. I should just Google it, but I'm lazy. So I'll sit here for five minutes instead trying to figure it out. But that's how you learn, isn't it? So I don't know why you're here. Maybe you're here because you're bored, but I'm glad you're here. A little bit about what you're going to find on this channel. We're going to have some behind the scenes, making the album, soup to nuts. I don't know what the fuck soup to nuts even means. I'm going to take you inside my creative process, the writing, production, working on stuff here in the home studio, taking you inside to the actual recording studio. Some videos are just going to be background, a little like slice of life, what it's like to be a musician in New York City, and of course music. Some of you may have heard my uh, song about the pandemic, Staying Home. You might be wondering how I got from point A to point B. You're going to learn about all that stuff and more uh, in the coming videos. Come into the darkness with me. Don't. It's terrible here. I hate it here.